We got some pretty rough news this week when it comes to physical media, and I want to clear some things up because I think some of what's out there right now isn't entirely correct. So last week, towards the end of the week, uh, Paramount, as part of its new upcoming merger with Skydance, went through a round of layoffs. And this has been something that's been happening at a lot of entertainment companies. Uh, but Paramount got hit again, and they got hit pretty hard. About 15% of the workforce was laid off. And unfortunately, that included a large chunk of the home entertainment and physical media departments. Now, they weren't totally wiped out. There's still people there. There's still people um, that I'm in contact with. And so it's not dead, but it's definitely hurt. It's wounded. It's injured. And... It's not a great thing for sure for physical media. It's disappointing because Paramount was doing a lot of really great stuff. They had their Paramount Scares box sets. They have the Paramount Presents line. They have been doing a ton of licensing with Arrow Video, Vinegar Syndrome, Shout Factory. Um, you know, they've been doing a lot of really great work. So it's really unfortunate that that team was, was hit with the layoffs because they've announced a lot of great catalog titles. They've been doing a lot of great work in a way that, um, you know, some others honestly haven't, you know, Paramount Presents is totally unique in the way that they have their own kind of boutique line within the Paramount studio catalog titles. And, you know, it just, I, I enjoyed what Paramount was doing. And I know some of you out there, you know, oh yeah, they're hit or miss, but like, they're really not the consistency that they were putting out releases, uh, on catalog and licensing has been great. And, you know, this, this sucks that some of those people got let go. And, you know, it definitely will mean that catalog might slow down. It, it might be difficult to get stuff out that they had planned now with fewer resources than they had when they originally were thinking about doing some of this work. Um, but with all that being said, the news out there, and I, I respect Bill Hunt very much, and he's got a pulse on this. And, you know, he talks to people, I talk to other people, maybe we're just getting different stories, but um, a lot of his article about this was totally correct. Like, yeah, a lot of people got laid off and it's a problem. But one thing he mentioned that I do want to clear up, at least from what I'm hearing, is the licensing part of things where he said that, you know, he was hearing there's a freeze on licensing and they've, you know, boutique labels have been told to stop on Paramount stuff. Um, and from, from what I'm hearing, that's just, that's not true. In fact, licensing would be one of the ways that Paramount continues to stay afloat. They're still working on licensing. Um, they're very heavily involved in that. And that's a way that with fewer staff internally, they're gonna still be able to get catalog titles out. So I don't think anybody should be worried about that side of things. I think you'll still see Arrow Video. I think you'll still see Vinegar Syndrome and some of those deals that have been put in place by Paramount. They're gonna continue to license things out and they'll do their best to continue to do work internally with paramount presents and catalog titles great announcements recently like we were soldiers you know that's going to happen uh paramount scares will still happen as a box set volume two is still coming but there may have been things in the pipeline further down internally that that now get turned off now we probably don't even know what some of that stuff is uh we may not even know the impact that these layoffs have but don't be surprised if catalog internal in paramount presents titles uh, begin to slow down but that is the good news like licensing is alive and well they're still working on it and it makes a ton of sense if you cut staff okay that sucks internally you can't do this stuff but license it out you sign some paperwork you get some people on board you send a few emails you have a few meetings you know you pass off the rights to somebody for a six-figure licensing deal and they go out and they remaster and they get the source materials a shout a vinegar syndrome an arrow whoever criterion maybe and they go out and they they do their work and they have their internal teams that work on this stuff and paramount gets to hopefully get some of the profit you know and and still stay alive from some of this but you know it is a another sign of the times for sure with you know best buy dropping out target dropping out walmart's really the last bastion of hope for physical media and you know from what i've been told if walmart drops out there's going to be huge issues in the industry that said Yes, Paramount is definitely uh, not in a great place for physical media, but we have hope, we have the licensing deals, and they've started to get creative with finding other ways to make money off of the remastering process, one of which is theatrical re-releases, which is very smart. When they did The Crow, they put that out in theaters, and that did very, very well. That gives them money, right? So now you're remastering for 4K, 
it's not just to sell discs, which may be on the decline, or you may have a hard time convincing, you know, corporate America to buy into that. But you now have discs, you have digital transfers, you have streaming rights to the remaster, and you have theatrical. If The Crow can go in theaters and make a few hundred thousand dollars on ticket sales, that's huge to help the cause for remastering. It's all ROI. If we're going to put this much in, we got to get this much out as a business. So now you're seeing Friday the 13th, the final chapter, go into theaters. Who knows? Maybe that could help boost uh, some of the, the, the response to the Friday the 13th remasters and getting some more of those on 4K. You're going to hopefully see other stuff go into theaters. There's avenues to work in the same world of entertainment, theatrical, VOD, video on demand, streaming, and physical, where all of those can work together to make business sense. You know, I think that you'll continue to see, you know, lower print runs for stuff. It's, you know, things are going to be limited. They have to kind of, in this case, um, you know, hedge your bets a little bit. If we're going to put something out, we're going to do 3,000 copies. If they sell, they sell, they're gone. You know, maybe they do a second print run, but they're going to be very careful with a lot of things. I think you've seen that with Paramount Presents and Chinatown, Once Upon a Time in the West. Those have always been limited editions. I do wonder if maybe they're a bit more limited now than they have been in the past. Yeah, I mean, this this all points to like an evolving market. It all points to boutique labels kind of taking over, licensing being the way of the future. Um, you've seen Walmart step in, but you've also seen Disney uh, license to Sony and let Sony deal with their catalog. You've seen a lot of these deals, consolidation, studio distribution services as Universal and Warner Brothers. Now they're selling some Shout Factory stuff on their site. So there's consolidation in e-commerce. There's consolidation in manufacturing. There's consolidation in retail and merchandising. Everyone's trying to come together to make this profitable and make sure that physical media stays alive. Um, I don't think it's a losing battle. I think it's just a changing world and... You know, unfortunately with Paramount, these layoffs, I don't think have much to do with their home entertainment and their physical media departments. I think it has more to do with its corporate America. There's a merger. If they're going to do layoffs, they're going to look at the departments that bring the least amount of value, which I put in quotes because I think physical media brings a ton of value to studios, um, especially for their catalog stuff. But they're going to look at those departments that have the maybe bigger budgets and not the biggest profits. And that's where they're going to cut people. They always cut marketing people advertising, physical media. Uh, unfortunately, that's where stuff gets cut. It, it happened at Disney when Disney and Fox merged. The Fox team was was cut down to, to nothing in home entertainment and physical media. Uh, they lost a lot of really great people. I'm sure Paramount's going through the same. Luckily, they still have some hardworking people over there who believe in this. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess we wait and see what happens. But I just wanted to make sure it was clear that like Paramount's not frozen. Paramount's not stopping. They have releases that are still coming. They're still announcing releases. They are definitely still doing licensing deals and those will be moving forward, probably maybe even more so than they have in the past. So it's it's a change. Is it bad? Is it good? We won't know yet. I don't say that, that you know, the sky is falling. I'm not going to give you that take. I'm not going to go sensationalist on this. The sky's not falling. There's plenty of ways to make money from remastering movies, from selling physical media, from boosting up boutique labels and licensing deals. This stuff is here to stay. It's just here to change as well. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest in physical media news, Blu-ray, 4K, movie collecting, and movie topics in general, make sure you're subscribed here so you never miss a video. You can also follow me on social media. Those links are in the video description and right here. Scan the QR code if you're watching on a TV. That'll bring you to my links. And of course, I just thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming out for the video. I appreciate all the support here, and I'm always happy to give updates like this. Whether they're good or bad, I like giving my take and hopefully being a little bit more optimistic than maybe some of what you'll see out there because I am still cautiously optimistic about this world. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I'll talk to you all soon.